and I think we're rolling. Alrighty, so hello, welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily. This is gonna be my first uh, deck video of me actually playing. Uh, welcome if you're uh, new to my channel. I've been opening up one Pokemon booster pack every single day and I've been wanting to show off my deck for such a long time. I'm very happy to be making this first video. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and find a match. You know, this video is really gonna be on um, me talking about this deck but in here i'm going to just kind of talk about um anything to pokemon related my thoughts about how i approach playing matches and things like that um i'm going to try to mix up the decks that i'm using just to kind of uh give variety but for the next two weeks i primarily will be using my zork and lichen rock gx deck um i did a breakdown of every card i'm using in this deck uh and i hope uh this match actually that i've decided to record goes better i was doing just a couple test runs to make sure uh the video capture software and everything was going and my mic was working um, but I think we finally, uh, I think I finally figured out what will work well with what I have. Um, and I'm just really, really excited to be making this video. I hope that this will be me working up to doing a live stream. There's other tests that I will have to do to see if that's possible. Very interesting. Hey, uh, I'm, uh, as I'm uh, going into this, I'm starting to see, uh, I actually, I actually do not mind starting with Tapu Lele's. I am running three Tapu Lele's in my deck. So, um, I don't really mind starting out with one. I already have Bridget here, so not a horrible opening. Hey, oh my gosh, if I, I hope I can get this win because this deck, I already know, Wimpod, Glossopod, that is my deck's weakness. So uh, yeah, let's get started by saying uh, this. So uh, with the Pokemon trading card game, it was the one I'm gonna kind of look through here a little bit. Uh, I got back into it about three years ago and I quickly figured out that it was something I wouldn't say like I had like a natural talent for, but I definitely, the way the game is set up works really well. Two of my puzzle times are priced now. That's interesting uh, how my brain works at least. But I do have, I do have uh, Remoraid. I, I will grab one Rock Ruff them. That's not, an, um, how my brain works at least that I um, just do very well with um, the Pokemon trading card game. And I'm good at looking like not just like two turns ahead what my opponent's going to do but anywhere five to ten turns or at least I think I'm good at that at least I, who knows maybe I actually just suck. <laughs> maybe I just suck at this game and I um and I should stop but I enjoy it um let's see what do I want to attach I think I'm gonna uh, that's I'm still attach this to rock rough but so one of my strategies I mentioned this in the vi uh, video I put out the other day is that if I'm already knowing I'm gonna be playing against a Glossopod GX so I try as hard as I can not to evolve rock rough there's just um he he's gonna get knocked out at some point uh he can go for him very easily uh i'm gonna go ahead and not play that puzzle time quite yet um i hope i can get this one this would be a great one to start out this match with because my my favorite thing about this um about the zorwark like in rock gx is because i really do think it's probably one of the most flexible decks out there i wouldn't even say it has decks where it has like because there's a lot of decks that have where you have a clear advantage in front of but i think it does a really good job uh he's doing a very smart move very 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 good move I'm, i wouldn't be surprised if he attaches a double color this energy i'm not too worried about that parallel uh city because uh, i can still I, I mean we are off to a good start so far Mm, I could maybe get that Mew, so I gotta decide what I want to discard now. God, this is a tough decision. I'm gonna have to discard. I'm gonna have to break that rule and discard that puzzle time, because that's the... Yep. Because I'm gonna evolve... I'm gonna evolve Zorua into Lycanroc. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I could discard... I will do one thing, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can give myself a little bit of an edge with that puzzle time. Oh no, I already messed up, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to discard uh, that puzzle time anyways. I was gonna maybe play play it, but right, 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 right. So this is what we will do. And let's roll the dice and see if we can get something good. I probably would have not discarded that. I would have had to discard everything though. Wish I could have kept that. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Obviously he kind of has a slow hand too. Uh, I can still keep pulling for more cards in the turn to come. Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not evolving that light. I'm not evolving that rock rough yet. Then I wouldn't get to use his ability also. Um, I hope to keep these matches under 20 minutes. That's the test runs I've been doing. Uh, that's where, how about how long my matches have been. Um, hypothetically, they can go up to 50 minutes. And I, I don't, I, I, like I said, I want to keep these under 20 minutes because I don't expect people to be watching. Yes, play N. <laughs> um, 
I don't expect people to watch these entire things. Maybe you just click through and maybe you just want to see uh, my deck strategy. Um, I should have said this at the beginning, but how I actually get through YouTube videos uh, quicker these days is uh, if I have a... Uh, uh, perfect. Like I said, I'm going to be in the middle of some train of thoughts and then I'm going to bring, bring it back in. I will get back to that thought in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and discard... I can discard both those things because... Uh, like I said, I can't believe I'm going to already have to do this in the first turn, but I'm not super worried about it because I'm surprised he hasn't played out another Wimpod, but if I play my cards right, I think I can get this knockout. So, yep, I think I can. This is this is going to be, I'm actually not going to use his ability. So what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and play out, we'll play out another Rockruff. I'm actually shocked that this is going so well. My matches before this actually, um... We're not going the best. Yeah, I'm going to evolve him into Rock Rough, and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get a show for the fir first time the destructive nature of this deck. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous to put Lycan Rock out there knowing that he works. Um, yes, and my float stones there. That was super critical, or this would have been all for nothing. I only use one float stone just because, you know, you got to make you got to make decisions on what you want to cut. And let's go ahead and use Lycan Rock's trade ability. Like I said, this deck for me has so much fluidity. Um, uh, every deck is going to have its advantages and disadvantages, but I am a huge fan of this. Uh, he has four Pokemon out there, so that's 200 right there, plus the 30 for the choice ban. So that does a total of 230 for the knockout. Like I said, this isn't ideal. I'm using uh, Lycan Rock actually a little early in the match, but I didn't really have... Um, I saw an opening, and we went for it. So like I said, I absolutely, absolutely love the destructive nature of it. As I was saying, I was actually going to say this, uh, Parallel City, I've seen this card a lot in the decks like mine, I thought about using it, I, I experimented with it, every time I experimented with it, it never paid out in the long run, because then normally I actually, in most situations, I want my opponent to have a fuller bench so I can get his uh, uh, dangerous rogue attack out, because it's completely useless if he doesn't have Pokemon on his bench. You know, one card I, I understand is practicality, and I, I've seen it, I think I've seen it in a couple even like first place regional decks. I just don't understand Mew EX, especially in the past couple months, has made a, a, a comeback. Um, a great card, but it just has way too low of HP. I have two of these uh, that I could I could use, but it, it just, it, it just for me, just doesn't quite cut it, because even my Zorwork GX, if my bench is filled, um, I can knock it out in one hit. So that's my feeling actually about uh, Mew EX. Like I said, I want to get, uh, I want to get uh, Lycan Rock out of the bench, uh, out of here as quickly as possible right now. Especially he's got that Wimpod. I think I could do one more thing. Uh, I have an idea. And whatever card, oh, what, what attack is he using? Brightest Beating probably. That's what I would be using. He could use any of my attacks too. Good, 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 good. That's to be expected. Perfect. Exactly what I actually wanted to get. Now I don't have to search for it. That, uh, I want to make sure I don't have to discard anything because I think I'm going to go for my second Mallow. I can slow him down here. I want to knock out that wind pod. That is exactly what I'm going to be going for. So, first things first, let's play Tapu Lele. And I'm going to go in for, or I could knock out, mm, I got an idea. Uh, no, that, that's a tough one. I'm going to still go for Mallow if it's there. Tough, 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 tough decision. I could probably get out the knockout. I think, I'm, I, think I might have found a way I can get in a win tentatively. But it's going to involve me in a couple turns having to get... Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the win, and this could be uh, interesting. Inter I, I was gonna do something completely different, but with him having his Mew out on the field, I'm not super worried. I'm gonna still go ahead and play that Enhanced Hammer in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock out one of his Oryx here, because I can't believe I didn't see this uh, this a little bit sooner. Uh, my Lycan Rock probably will get knocked out in the next turn. Uh, I will have to discard uh, one of my Zorwick GXs. I already discarded one of those into the bench, so that is running into that little bit of risky territory. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And I already uh, could go to, to my puzzle. Times are there. Um, uh, and I think 
I should actually grab a puzzle time. That wouldn't be bad, right? Oh no, good, good, good. I still have one more Zork GX in there, I think. Because I am I will be discard yeah, yeah, I'm actually gonna grab him while I'm at it. Uh because I will need a double another double colorless energy at some point, but I want to try to have that extra pulse support. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna discard this Zorwork GX. And I'm definitely gonna be getting a uh, knockout this turn. Also get two more prize cards so that's cool there so i've definitely slowed down his deck now like i said my matches i um hi daisy uh you know it's one of those things i can't control uh with running it like right there for example my dog decided she wanted to try in for this uh little first matchup um no this match is going good the only thing i'm missing now i was hoping i could get that second puzzle all time because yeah but i do have two in my deck i just saw those so i just need i just need one more and now i'm just trying to go for that mew um uh like and walk will get knocked out so i will also have to do one more pokemon but this has turned into an interesting matchup there's a couple different ways i can win this now um uh, i just i just basically if i were also to get the second puzzle uh, another puzzle time i think i could uh, monkey my way in there i'm going to go ahead actually no i can play a uh, zorak in case i do want to switch him out um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honing in now on that Mew EX for, uh, for the win. That's exactly what I'm doing. Like, exactly what I said a couple seconds ago. Uh, I don't think that Mew has, I'm 100% what I saw that coming, but I, what, <laughs> what I just said, why I don't play him in, in the game till late. Um, yeah, Zork, I can play Zork out. And here we go. All I need is a Pokemon. And let's go ahead. I could put no, no, I'm not gonna puzzle time it. I just need to burn. I just need to burn through my deck right now. And here we hope we get. If I were to get Guzma, oh, oh, okay. I think I need two cards for my discard pile. I can get Tapu, Tapu Lele. Yeah, that's all I need is Tapu is Tapu Lele. I know exactly what I'm, uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I need it. Uh, I'm gonna. You'll get to hear me stutter as I work through all my thought process. Tapu Lele is what I need. I think that's the one thing I need from this deck. I'm gonna go ahead in case I am dumb and forget to grab like a poke, a uh, basic, uh, basic poke. No, he is a basic Pokemon. I think that's all, all I need. Let's go ahead and uh, just in case if I have to discard something. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So now there's that. And now I'm gonna play a Tapu Lele. And I'm gonna go for Guzma. Yep, and I think I think I have the win. I hope they let me finish this up because this will be a great way to start out my first one. And I think I think we just did it. I think yep. Let's go ahead and get that little, little finesse, just to get that extra damage out and uh, 130 for knockout. Perfect. Oh, that, I, I didn't even see that till uh, it was late last last turn that that could happen. What a fantastic first match. I'm super excited to be doing this. I hope to do these once a day, work up to a live stream. This way I can kind of work on talking while I'm playing at the same time. Uh, I'm actually really imp uh, happy how well that, that match went. Um, yeah, uh, I, I love this deck. Uh, let me, I'll just, just really quickly show, uh, show one more time in case you didn't see a video, all, all the cards and I'm working with it. If my internet speeds up, uh, da, 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 da. deck manager, I know you get it. Uh, also, uh, feel free to add me my username here and maybe we can play against, uh, I'd be more than open to play against subscribers. We can work up, find out a time. Generally the weekends are the best for me. Um, but this is the setup I have right here. I did an entire video on this. Uh, I just really, really like this deck. I like the fluidity of it. Um, it just showed right there, even if I'm playing against a deck that it has a huge weakness against too, there are a ton of workarounds, uh, for it. Um, I'm so happy that match went well because a couple of my matches prior to this actually were 
a bit of a struggle, but I want to keep this, uh, like I said, I want to try to keep these videos un uh, under 20 minutes, but this has been Pokemon TCG Daily. Regularly, I open up one Pokemon booster pack every single day, and I think I'm going to try to do these videos once a day as well, just showing off my deck and other thoughts and concerns, and kind of maybe do this a little bit, maybe this even closer to a vlog, just kind of talk about how life going is going and things like that. But uh, as always, I will see you in tomorrow's videos, fellow trainers. It's been a fantastic weekend. Um, and yeah, have a, have a good one.